Good day, Charity Umfis. Today I bring you glad tidings because today we're going to be running Marvel Rivals on Mac OS. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head to this website right here, which is going to be linked in the description. And if you follow the link in the description, not only will you get Crossover Plus for just $24 for a whole year, but you will also get access to Crossover Preview, which is the version that we need to play Marvel Rivals and I'll get a commission off of every sale they make. And you can be happy knowing that you'll support the open source wine project. So we're going to just hit the buy button here, though I, uh, I've already bought it. So if you hit the buy button, you could get it. So next, we're going to go into our licensed crossover preview. And we're going to go into install. We're going to select Steam. Right? And we're going to choose a different bottle so i'm just going to name an, this i don't know steam test i guess yes steam test and it's going to install the english version of steam the dependencies it's going to take a while it's going to install some fonts and stuff and it says times new roman font family or something similar you press yes Go back to crossover and it's going to automatically install the rest of the fonts and the dependencies that you need to have Steam before it actually goes to the Steam installer. Once Steam is done installing, check this box, make sure it's not unchecked and press finish. It's going to download some updates. Once it's done downloading, just scan the QR code and log in. Now, before we're ready to play the game, there's some settings we need to faff around with. So if you go into graphics, we need to set this to Deep 3D Metal and the synchronization to eSync. I know a lot of people su uh, suggest M-Sync, but eSync works better on the M1 MacBook Air. So I'm going to reboot the bottle and enable eSync. So one thing to note is that this fix is not officially endorsed by the Marvel Rivals developer team or by the Discord staff. And if you get something wrong while using this fix, which you probably won't, but if something happens, uh, don't expect any support from the Marvel Rivals support team. So anyway, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's go into bottle, open C drive. Let's go to users, crossover, app data, local, Marvel, saved. And if you go into config and you go into Windows, this sh should just have this file, the game user settings.ini file. I will have this file linked in the description, the engine.ini file. What this basically does is it disables some settings that you do not need in the game, and it basically optimizes the game in a way that the devs themselves haven't optimized yet. It's kind of unfortunate because the M1 MacBook Air is quite a capable gaming device. There is one small quirk when you launch Marvel Rivals for the first time, and since I've already launched the game many, many times, I like to play Marvel Rivals. I'm going to be handing over the mic, or rather handing over the reins to Andrew Tai. Credits to him in his video where he explains how to bypass the one annoying thing that happens only the first time when you open up the game, by the way. So yeah, take it away, Andrew. So now I'm going to go ahead and launch Marvel Rivals. Just click the play button and then launch is going to come up. It's saying here the operating system is outdated. Don't worry, just press confirm and then continue here. Just ignore this error message and then click the launch button. So now we have a known issue with graphics driver. This is a good sign. This is the standard Unreal Engine error message when we're trying to run games through crossover. Just press no here, and then the game is going to force launch. So the first thing I'm going to do is to compile shaders. So this is a fairly quick process, so just let that complete. This is a process that only ever happens once, so just let that finish. It's pretty quick. So first thing is that we have this weird black box in the center here, and you can just click on that in order to get past it. 
And then next, you're gonna have issues interacting with the screen. So every time you open up this game, you won't be able to click on anything. So the way to fix that is that you get your keyboard and then we press the Command Tab key. And then we press it again. And then that allows us to interact with the mouse now. So I'm gonna press space to continue here. And then we can go ahead and click to start and it's gonna go ahead and log in for us. And in order for us to actually continue this login process, we need to click on the screen to accept the end user license agreement. So the, the area here is about here. You can see the kind of hand cursor change if you're clicking on this area here. So just click on that. And uh, now it's gonna log in properly. So unless you do that, it's gonna, it's gonna be waiting forever. And then just press confirm here. And now we're gonna go ahead and play. So let's take a look at the graphics settings real quick. So if we go into settings, Now the display mode should be borderless windowed and your anti-aliasing should be set to TAAU with your render scaling at 50%, frame generation mode and low latency mode off. You won't be able to use low latency mode on the M1 MacBook Air anyway. Scroll down a bit. The graphics quality should be set to low but custom. So we're using Lumen GI high quality instead of, well, instead of the spatial uh, thing. Let me see what it is. Yep, instead of SSGI, we're using Lumen, and we are using Lumen Reflections. Pretty much everything else is set to low. We go back. Let's try and play a practice match as Jeff the Land Shark. All right, time to find out who's our ultimate party shark. And there you have it. That's how you play Marvel Rivals on Mac OS. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let me know what other videos you'd like to see on the gaming channel. This is kind of a different thing from what I usually do. Also, my new single, Padoru Hardstyle, is out. So go and listen to it right now. Or she, the background, she'll be sad. She'll be real sad. Guys, come on now. Make her Christmas and go listen to it now. Okay. Love you all 3000. Bye.